Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Cameron and in today's video we're going to be answering the question why there is such bad lag, why there's so much stuttering going on in the brand new chapter 3 season 1. And uh, the answer might surprise you guys. It's something that you probably are overthinking in terms of why this is happening. But I'm going to just dive into all that. We're going to be going over some concrete data from Epic Games themselves. Um, if you guys like videos like this, that helps you kind of improve your gameplay experience, like lowering your input delay, reducing your lag, or increasing FPS. Drop a like and subscribe because I make videos like this all the time, trying to help you guys out and just increase your uh, gaming experience. And the reason I chose to do this video is because very recently on my latest Chapter 3 Season 1 Increase FPS video, I've seen this question a few times in my comment section asking why there's such bad lag, why the FPS is so low, why there's stuttering going on in the brand new season. And I just thought I'd make a full video addressing the problem. And the reason being is it's actually something Epic Games has addressed already on their Epic Games support page. To answer this question, we first have to look at where lag comes from to begin with. If you go to Epic Games support page, you can actually see what latency or ping does in Fortnite. Basically, it's the way that your computer interacts with your internet provider and how your internet provider interacts with the Epic Games servers. So there's a bunch of things that can actually cause this to throttle or to be reduced or just, you know, overall decrease your, your uh, performance with uh, latency and ping. And those things can be bandwidth, throughput, routing, and one extra thing that Epic hasn't addressed here yet is congestion. So that's right. If there's a lot of people on the network, uh, for example, when a brand new season launches, it's going to cause it to be throttled to basically make way for more people on the servers. You're not going to get full bandwidth or full capability of Epic Games servers if they're reaching near or max capacity on their servers. We've seen this before where some games have even shut down fully with the amount of players on their networks. I think back when Epic Games or when Fortnite first started getting a lot of hype, uh, we've seen their servers actually really bogged down. We've even seen that their servers have turned off for some period of time. This is, this is exponentially more important when a brand new season drops. And the reason for that is you're going to see a lot of people that are use, utilizing their servers at the beginning of seasons. You might actually see a pattern here. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have realized this, but back when like... For instance, uh, Chapter 2 Season 8 began, you know, there was a lot of lag. Uh, it does happen every season, unfortunately. But there's also some other things at play that might cause your game to not be doing so hot in terms of, uh, of why your performance might be lower. So that is also why I wanted to bring up this uh, quick article here. So one thing that can actually improve your experience is using a dedicated server that connects directly to Epic Games servers. And the reason this can help is because uh, VPNs can actually reduce traffic and also they can limit the, um, the speed in which your internet provider interacts with Epic Games servers. Meaning if you're connecting to an internet provider localized near one of the Epic Games servers, you're actually reducing your lag one of the um, affiliates that I have on the channel actually, NoPing, does this extremely well. And although I'm affiliated with NoPing, you guys don't have to use my link. I do have a link down in the description below. You guys can click that link and actually you get a free like 14 day trial. There's no cost at all. You can try it out and see if it improves your connection. I'd recommend everybody do so just because it is free. And after that two weeks, if you wanted to, you could choose to, to pay for a subscription, which I do monthly. But again, totally optional. You don't even have to use no ping. There's tons of other, um, you know, really good ping reducing uh, servers that you can use in, in different companies. One of them being Exit Lag, who's also really good. Uh, Exit Lag, I think, has some type of free promo or something where you can get it free for a trial. But I haven't used theirs, to be honest, so definitely test it out. I did a video in the past for dedicated no ping, you know, like reducing your ping. Uh, companies and uh, there's there's quite a few of them so you can definitely check them out but exit lag and no ping seem to be the biggest from what I've seen in terms of research um, these can just again limit the connection that Epic Games has with your internet provider 
and really you know speed up the connection and reduce your ping and make the games feel a lot more smooth and again i mean a big benefit here is the lower your lag is the faster your reactions are in game meaning building shooting editing all that stuff happens so much cleaner and so much faster can definitely give you a better experience there. And another thing just to mention guys, although it is due to the brand new season launching and due to congestion on Epic servers for why it's so laggy, um, the good news is after a few days, you should be seeing those levels kind of even out and it starts to be a lot more playable, a lot smoother, because it seems like everybody just piles in in those first couple of days. After like within a week for sure, you should see that your gameplay start feeling a lot smoother as there's less traffic on their servers and it's going to be a lot easier to play especially in a game that's as action-packed and like millisecond counting as fortnite where you're building editing shooting all those things take milliseconds to stop bullets to to get shots on people and all that sort of thing so you should see your gameplay drastically improve within just a week really of waiting for the new chapter um and in the meantime there's one other thing that you can count on that will also improve your gameplay experience and that is, of course, the fact that when a brand new season does come out, there's lots of bugs and lots of errors. Like if you go to Epic Games website right now, you can see here at the very tippy top, there is some errors going on, especially on Nintendo Switch. Um, they're there basically saying to try reinstalling Fortnite to resolve the issue that there's problems with the update. You know, like that happens every single chapter, every single season. Um, there's just a bunch of bugs that they have to fix. So they should work out those kinks as well within a week. So basically what I'm saying to you guys is just give it a little bit of time, you know, give it a couple days and you should see that your gameplay will improve on its own. Other things you can do are going to be in this video that you're going to see on the screen. This is a brand new video I just released about updating your settings, uh, different stuff like that to improve your FPS, um, as, as well as a ton of other videos I have on this channel about reducing your lag, increasing your FPS and lowering your input delay. I have tons of videos on this channel if you guys want to take a look at all those. I'm sure those will help you out as well. But as always, guys, we're in a brand new season, so I hope you guys make the most of it and enjoy all the new perks, especially taking time to learn the new map and the weapon meta. Like Those are things to focus on, too, to improve your game. Because improving at the game means understanding like all the new POIs, understanding how to use every single gun. Like There's, there's just a lot to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next video, of course. Peace out for now.